Hello biologists and welcome to today's a level Biology Daily Revision Task. In today's task you are asked to produce a concept map on the structure and roles of synapses in neurotransmission. The following short video will go and outline many of the things that you may wish to include. Key points to bear in mind. Right, synapses are the junctions in between nerve cells. The nerve impulses travel across them using a neurotransmitter, that neurotransmitter is called acetylcholine and it's all to do with action potentials reaching the end of the presynaptic neuron and being generated in the postsynaptic neuron. So, we start with an action potential travelling down the presynaptic neuron and reaching the synaptic knob, which is at its end. This causes a depolarization in the presynaptic membrane, which causes calcium ion channels to open. There are a few key points that we've got to bear in mind when talking about this and you will need to go and mention these key points when answering exam questions. The easiest way to talk about it is that when the action potential reaches the presynaptic membrane it causes voltage gated calcium channels in the presynaptic membranes to open. This allows calcium ions to move down a concentration gradient into the presynaptic neuron. So, as I've previously stated, the calcium ions diffuse down the concentration gradient into the presynaptic neuron. They then go and bind with vesicles containing neurotransmitter. This causes these vesicles to go and fuse with the presynaptic membrane. Some key points that we need to talk about at this stage is that the calcium ions, when caused <coughs> after causing the vesicles to fuse with the presynaptic membrane cause the release of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. And realistically, we need to talk about it diffusing into the synaptic cleft. Another key phrase that we must use is that we can talk about the release the neurotransmitter in terms of exocytosis. So all exocytosis means is the release or excretion of. The neurotransmitter diffuses across the synaptic cleft and binds to specific receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. Some key points to consider at this moment. We need to continue to refer to the neurotransmitter as acetylcholine. And it binds to specific receptor sites on the sodium ion channels in the postsynaptic membrane. This, as we'll see next, will cause these sodium channels to open. So, the sodium channels open up. This allows sodium ions to move down a concentration gradient and enter the postsynaptic neuron. Key points 
that you must include at this stage is that this causes a depolarization in the membrane and that this may not always may initiate an action potential so this triggers an action potential to be propagated so that just means move down the postsynaptic neuron uh, at this stage so we're almost coming to the end there is still a lot of neurotransmitter in the synaptic cleft we don't want to leave it in there or else it will cause any number of problems so therefore the acetylcholine is broken down by the enzyme acetylcholine esterase and it's broken down into chlorine and ethanoic acid this is then removed from the sodium channels in the postsynaptic neuron and the products diffuse back across the synaptic cleft to the presynaptic neuron in order for our neurotransmitter to be taken back up into the presynaptic neuron and stored back in these schools ATP is produced by many many mitochondria and the chlorine and ethanoic acid is recombined into acetyl chlorine and stored in these schools for future use right hopefully this has been helpful please follow the link below to download a diagram that you can go and annotate good luck with your exams hopefully this video should have helped you complete your daily revision task please subscribe so you can keep up to date with other videos to help with your daily revision tasks you can follow me on facebook or follow me on twitter to help you keep up to date